Cyberkit lagi. Dodge this!
Frostbite. Have mercy, O oh mighty Adeptus. I beg you, show mercy upon me and my brother. Spare our lives. Who are you? What's going on? We asked you first. Oh, you enjoy safe passage in Joyun Karst. It can only mean one thing. You must be Adepti Messengers, sent here to rescue me and my brother. What is he talking about? Oh, have mercy, mighty Messengers of the Illuminated Adepti. I beg you to save us. My brother and I, we only came here because our family is poor, and we heard tell of treasures hidden in the amber of Mount Hulao. It was stupid of us. All we wanted to do was to find enough treasure to sell and support our family. We followed the path up the mountain, but suddenly, the amber that swallowed up my brother Li Dang. I ran away and made it this far before it dawned on me. We were trespassers in the abode of the Adepti, and this was our punishment. I had no idea how to rescue my brother, so I just started praying for the Adepti to have mercy, right here on the spot. And now, at long last, two messengers come to my aid. What? We're not Adepti messengers. We just want to find the Adepti like everyone else. No, 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 you, you must be messengers. You have to be. I have no idea which Amber trapped him. Please, you have to rescue him. I beg you, show me some Adepti mercy. 
Thank you. Thank you. Oh, mighty messengers of the illuminated Adepti. I promise that we will never be so foolish again. Paimo was going to ask him about where to find the Adeptus, but he seems pretty one-track mind about rescuing his brother right now. That Li Deng got trapped in amber somewhere on Mount Hulao, and that they were following the path the whole way up. So let's follow the path down from here and make sure to be on the lookout for amber on the way. What's the hurry? Ah! <laughs> 
taking me out? Blitz! a little closer. You've been a naughty boy. Closer. <laughs> <laughs> You're in for a little shock. Come a little closer. Let's dance. <laughs> Dodge this. Don't get frostbite. Freeze. Spark things up a little. He, he. <laughs> Ah! Ah! 
Rescued me? Oh, thank you. Oh, and have you seen my brother? His name is Li Ding. We were climbing the mountain together. I just hope he didn't get trapped in Amber too. Phew. So he's safe then? Oh. Oh, thank you. I will head up to find my brother now. Here's hoping I don't run into any more Amber on the way.
Thank you for rescuing my brother, O oh mighty messengers of the Illuminated Adepti. What? No. I mean, like everyone else, we've heard that there's an Adeptus living in Mount Hulao. But regular folks like us would never have the chance to meet them. No way. Unlike you guys, you're Adepti messengers. So it's a whole different story. Anyway, we have trespassed in the realm of the Adeptus for long enough. We should get going. Thank you, mighty Adepti messengers. Yes, thank... Boy, it'd be super helpful if we actually were Adepti messengers. Because it seems like this Adeptus has got a real temper problem. But it's not like we've done anything wrong, so... Hope Who dares trespass on my mountain? Who... Foolish mortal. Come forth and receive your punishment at... You intrude upon the sanctity of Mount Hulao. You destroy the amber of my mountain. And you free a thief whose freedom is not yours to give. The thieves' ignorance was an affront to the Adepti. But your actions are an abomination of the highest order. Wait! We can explain! Mooncarver? Trusted a mere mortal as his messenger? Is this a sigil of permission? One is surprised to find such things still exist in the mortal realm. In the beginning, Rex Lapis cast them for the mortals with his own hand. Few were made then, and thousands of years on, fewer still remain. Speak. One shall listen to the matter which brings you here. Then one shall verify the truth thereof. You would be wise to speak the truth. For Liyue is not so far from here that one would be easily deceived. Rex Lapis... Assassinated? At the right of dissension? What mortal in Liyue, nay, in all the world, would conspire to commit such foul treason? Or perhaps the more pertinent question is, what power in this world could aspire to achieve it? Rex Lapis charged the Adepti with the protection of Liyue, and we have always honored this duty. As the people have prospered, so have we gradually withdrawn into the mountains. Indeed, this was a gesture of goodwill towards humanity. But now, alas, Rex Lapis, God. Traveler, of the matter you have relayed, one has become aware. One now knows why Moon Carver has sent for us. Once one has dealt with certain matters here that require my attention, one shall convene with the other Adepti. Paimon can! Adepti always have magical powers in storybooks. Seems it's true in real life, too. You know, like how grass is actually Adepti hair, and rivers are actually Adepti saliva. There must be something similar going on with the Amber. Your nonsense knows no bounds. This amber is produced by a flower that one has planted here, called the Karst Cromer. The majority of the plant is hidden underground. When stepped on, it produces amber to trap the invader. After taking up residence here, 
One planted many karst crawlers to ensure that the tranquility of the mountain would remain undisturbed. Over the years, they have helped to prevent many disturbances. But in the process, they have also trapped many curious things. Oh, so the Amber is alive? Correct. Thus, one may not leave this place in its current state, for fear of the risk to innocent lives in one's absence. One will depart as soon as one has attended to this matter. One trusts that the manner of your departure will be swifter in nature. Dodge this! Cyberkit, log out!